Well, we just had a nice event in New York the day after Super Tuesday. We've had Marquette alumni and friends from around the country here today. Um, you know, it's a chance to talk about where the campaign is and where the Marquette Law School poll in particular is uh, focused and a chance to have good, smart conversation with alums. We asked people if they thought the recession had, had been worse in Wisconsin than in the country or better in Wisconsin than the country. 13 said worse, but twice that. 27 said the recession had hit Wisconsin not as hard as the country as a whole. So a little bit of a, and, and that jibes with the changes in unemployment in the state. So a little bit of optimism here, if you will. But when we asked, has the state added or lost jobs in the last year? 30% say lost jobs, 22 say added. So a net minus eight that say it's losing rather than gaining jobs. And of course, 45% say it's about the same, uh, which is statistically about accurate for what's gone on. But this is a problem for a campaign that's built around adding jobs, so that's an issue. When you ask about the country, though, people, again, slightly correctly perceive that the country has added more jobs rather than lost jobs. So that contrast between conditions in the state and conditions nationally there's not a huge gap in perceptions, but it's a perception gap and it's based on the reality of where the job gains have been. So that's a, an opening for Democrats and a challenge for the governor. It, we talk so much about the state being 50-50 division, absolutely tied. If that were true, every one of these races would be right at zero. So my point is to sort of stress that when we talk about how we're divided, we're not always divided in the way that sounds like. Rigidly 50% Republican, rigidly 50% Democrat. This actually shows there's a little bit more variety to that. And now I want to show you the coup de gras. The same graph, the same chart, but now about policy issues instead of just about candidates. And look at how much more spread out it is. We go from huge Democratic margins which oppose cuts to education spending and saying the rich should pay their fair share of taxes, to at the opposite end saying we must limit state spending for the middle class to get, catch a break, is the way the question was worded, and that public employees could contribute more to the health and uh, pension plans. Again, if we were just stereotypically divided there wouldn't be any variation across these questions. Instead, what you see is tremendous variation in them and in the vote questions. And so my, my concluding point is simply, we're more heterogeneous than the rhetoric might think. When you're having a chat with someone you find you disagree with on one issue, you might be surprised that there's some other issue that you agree with. And with this kind of range, we're not even looking at purely homogeneous parties. There's variation in opinion among parties. A majority of Republicans actually oppose cuts to education and to badger care, for example. Um, just as a majority of Democrats think state workers should contribute in favor of uh, limiting state spending.